This interactive do-it-yourself toolkit offers new ways to develop the practices and structures in your team and organization. The toolbox can help you reshape your strategy, work on your financial resources or find ways to get engaged with your community. The toolbox is made for teams of 3 to 15 people and will guide you through the process of exploring your needs, implementing your own workshop and addressing your defined problem. What's in the toolbox? The toolbox offers different tools and cards. The theme cards each represent a theme covered in the toolbox. The path cards suggest a set of methods, activities and tools for one-day workshops on specific themes. The method cards explain different methods step by step. For some methods, there are worksheets to fill in your results or background papers which provide conceptual information. The Path Canvas helps you document the findings and agreements of your workshop. And the Facilitator's Guide offers tips and recommendations for preparation and facilitation. So, how does it work? The first step, exploring your needs. This preparation session helps you to collectively identify the strengths and weaknesses of your team and organization. Each team member places figures on the theme cards. Green on those where you see strong points and red on those where you see weak ones. Discuss your results. If you have a lot of red figures on one theme, you can simply pick this theme as a problem to work on. Otherwise, identify a common problem. Set a priority and think about the bigger picture. Without having an overall vision, for example, Working on your strategy doesn't make much sense. Next, prepare your workshop. Collectively decide on two to three team members who will host your workshop. The hosts will prepare, organize and facilitate your workshop. As a host, choose a path which fits the theme you have identified. Check if you want to apply the path as it is or throw out and add steps and methods according to your needs. You know your team best. Stay realistic. Assess how much you can do in one day. The indicated times offer only orientation. You can also split the workshop up into shorter meetings of two to three hours. Most paths invite you to dive deeper and explore the values and principles of how you work together. If you feel that the suggested activities or methods are too much or too risky without external help, work rather on the concrete structures and practices of your organization. Once you have worked out all the steps of your workshop, do a quick run-through to get a feeling for how it all flows together. Now, your workshop day. Have a fruitful day with your team. Imagine your workshop and the path you have chosen are a mountain you will climb together as a team. The different methods and activities offered in the toolbox will help you to find your way. Begin with the orientation phase, focusing on your theme and where you are going. Then move on to the groundwork phase, where you dive deep into problem analysis. Next is the summit phase. Here you develop new practices and begin to find answers to your problem. In the outlook phase, you reflect and brainstorm on what these new practices and answers mean for your team. You finish your path by outlining your next steps. This is your action plan. Reflect and schedule a follow-up meeting for your path afterwards. Don't forget, do-it-yourself is a wonderful approach to sustaining and developing your own team. But it has its limits. Be aware of these limits and stop the workshop if and when you feel that you need external support. Start now.